What sit we then projecting peace and war? War hath determined us, and foiled with loss irreparable. Terms of peace yet none vouchsafed or sought. For what peace will be given to us enslaved, but custody severe and stripes, and arbitrary punishment inflicted? And what peace can we return but to our power, hostility, and hate, untamed reluctance, and revenge though slow, yet ever plotting how the conqueror least may reap his conquest, and may least rejoice in doing what we most in suffering feel? Nor will occasion want, nor shall we need with dangerous expedition to invade heaven, whose high walls fear no assault or siege or ambush from the deep. What if we find some easier enterprise? There is a place, if ancient and prophetic fame and heaven err not. Another world, the happy seat of some new race called man, about this time to be created like to us, though less in power and excellence, but favored more of him who rules above. So was his will pronounced among the gods, and by an oath that shook heaven's whole circumference confirmed. Thither let us bend all our thoughts, to learn what creatures there inhabit, of what mold or substance, how endued, and what their power, and where their weakness, how attempted best by force or subtlety. Though heaven be shut, and heaven's high arbitrator sit secure in his own strength, this place may lie exposed, the utmost border of his kingdom, left to their defense who hold it. Here, perhaps, some advantageous act may be achieved by sudden onset, either with hellfire to waste his whole creation, or possess all as our own, and drive as we were driven the puny habitants. Or if not drive, seduce them to our party, that their god may prove their foe, and with repenting hand abolish his own works. This would surpass common revenge, and interrupt his joy in our confusion, and our joy upraise in his disturbance. When his darling sons, hurled headlong to partake with us, shall curse their frail original, and faded bliss faded so soon. Advise if this be worth attempting, or to sit in darkness here, hatching vain empires. <laughs>